And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. Um, uh, question, with these decks that you play, can you please go more in depth why you choose the cards out of your sideboard and why you take out certain cards? Like, do you, do you mean like when I'm sideboarding? Is that what you mean, Nick Soccer? Like during the games when I'm sideboarding, you want me to go into better detail there? Um, but anyway, we, we are uh, here for Mardu Angels again. We played this deck yesterday and had five wins and it felt really good. Uh, no real changes today. Uh, going with the same 75 we played yesterday. I liked our, our 75 that we had yesterday, so um, I wanted to, to kind of run it back and, and uh, play through another league with it. Um, yeah, so nothing to really change there. Okay, during the game. Gotcha. Um, so let's go ahead and try it out, see if we can, you know, win five again with the Mardu Angels deck. So far, uh, played it. A few days ago, probably about four days ago now, and we got five wins. We went 5-1. Yesterday, we went 5-1 as well uh, after changing a couple cards. And I liked the changes we made, and so we're going to go ahead and run back the same deck from yesterday. Yeah, our decks are doing good today. Uh, our only loss so far was Bant Midrange losing a Bant Midrange Mirror. We lost, we lost a Bant Midrange Mirror, and besides that... Uh, winning the rest of them. So, hey Lord, come back. All right, let me finish off the YouTube video here for Bant Midrange. Just type some stuff while the match is starting. Ooh, we get to play first. Lucky. This is a keep, but it's a little awkward. Oh, sorry, it's a little awkward with just our, our one uh, one white source for history of Benalia. I don't think this is a mulligan. Tithe Taker was a card that was um, really impressive for us yesterday. Yeah, Marty Aristocrats looks promising, absolutely. Um, I think that the biggest thing to worry about with Mardu Aristocrats is the other aggro matchups. Um, I think it may be um, a little weak against, uh, it's, it's a little weak against like Mono Red, especially like Goblin Chain Whirler Mono Red, um, and like Mono White, because it's it has smaller creatures and a painful mana base. Um, I think the the other aggro decks is where where it's going to struggle. Initially, at least. All right, so them killing the Tithe Taker means that now they'll have two mana to either Trickster or maybe they have a counter spell here. I think it's blue red Merfolk. Not wizards, because you have to you have to have a merfolk for silver gold depth, so they're just built around wizards. Could certainly be wrong, of course. It could be built around wizards. Are there any red merfolk in standard? It's just like blue. Maybe it's just like mono blue warf merfolk that. Uses red for removal. Yeah, they're both wizards here. So it's just merfolk and wizards. Double tribal. Two color, two tribes. Hmm. 
That's weird. <laughs> Blue, red, very dead. Well, I don't want Vanguard in this matchup, no matter what they're doing. I think I want a combination of Duress and Clarion. But I'm not sure what I kind of want with those. I'm going to go maybe two and two. And we'll just kind of see what happens. Oh, sorry to be a little more descriptive about the uh, sideboarding there. So Clarion's because they could be playing just a lot of creatures, um, aggressively slanted creatures that uh, that are smaller that we can sweep up with the Clarion. Or if they're playing a lot of burn spells, the life gain the Clarion can provide it could also be useful. And then Duress, because um, like with with it being the blue deck, I don't really want them to counter my angels, so I want a little protection there. Adanto Vanguard doesn't... It's great against removal heavy decks and um, and everything. It's not really great in, in creature matchups, um, especially the smaller creature matchups. How uh, I don't really want to be... Like decks with burn spells, I don't want to be slamming it against other creatures and paying for life a bunch. I just don't, I don't want to be paying the life. Alright, Deafening Clarion. Certainly looks like a wizard deck. That we're playing against. The final boss fight with uh, Rakdos Burn, we played against a a Jund ag like a Jund mid-range, like aggro mid-range deck. And it was really close games. We, uh, they were at four, and we had risk factor. We had risk factor plus, uh, three other mana. So, you know, they, they let us draw three cards, and so we had three other mana. Or no, we only had two other mana at the time. No, we had three other mana. We had three other mana. And so with the three cards we drew, we drew a land... And we drew a Sovereign's Bite to do three to them. And a Carnival to do one damage to them. So we dealt exactly four. With our three lands. And it was awesome. The Pestilent Spirits were really good. Um, they were good all the time. They're, they're for, like, the bigger creatures. Like, we were able to, like, shock. We killed, like, Doom Whisperer, Nickel Bolas, Demanding Dragon, Gruel Spellbreaker. Killed all those things with, like, shocks. And, um, hmm. Infinite history banalias. I guess I should be playing Tithe Taker first, because if they have negate. Yeah, I should be just playing Tithe Taker first. They would have had to counter the Tithe Taker. I should play Tithe Taker first. I kind of like forgot about Tide Taker's ability of like be, being able to play Tide Taker to protect the um, history. I was thinking like you know if it's Quench 
or spell pierce. You know, like one of those. I want to play the history first, but I guess spell pierce would have got the history, but quench would not have got the uh, spell pierce. All right. Well, I can't just take it. I'm certainly worried. Certainly close to dying if I just take it. But now these three knights will be lethal together. So we're presenting lethal here with all these knights. Okay, not quite. <laughs> well, now with a really, uh... I guess I can attack for 11. And now we have like a, a couple blockers for this Adelise. So yeah, I like giving the, the pump to the the flying creature, give it vigilance. Um, if I just pump one of these things, like they just get to chump block a lot easier and I wouldn't really want to attack with this flyer. Yeah, I think we're good. Poe just said, bring it on. I said, I'll take all of it. And that's another Merfolk Wizard. Dang. Sleep's got me. That's a good card. I'm blaming that I'm blaming that on y'all in chat saying that sleep was incoming. That's y'all's fault. Alright, let's get this other Clarion in here. I think I maybe want to just go heavier on Clarion and Duress. Don't think I need to Mortify and Vras's Contempt as much. Yeah. Those are just pretty expensive. Like Clarion Duress. The non-block was obvious, yeah. They thought about it for a little bit. Maybe they were drawing into the... Hmm. Maybe they're drawing into it. Alright, let's get a couple lands. I like having coil for a creature. You know, be able to coil Natalie's. I like that. Don't think we need a shock. I don't think it's like super important that we cast duress on turn one. Let them let them draw a couple cards before we duress them. Well, now we'll certainly fire them off with having two of these: retort and lightning. So, take the retort. I guess they don't have red mana. Hmm. All right, we get to resolve one of these, presumably. I think history is better than Resplendent Angel because they could draw a red source and lightning the resplendent angel. And I certainly don't want that to happen. Yeah, like they'll, so yeah, now they'll just go at, you know, Trickster here. And now they'll have, they would have had their mana for retort. You know, but I guess there is no, no retort in their hand anymore. Ah, there's the red mana. Well, I want to cast this duress while I can, and take something while I can. So I'm going to take the lightning bolt, because that's all that is, one mana. One mana, deal three.
And us, cha us trading these cheap resources in this kind of matchup is certainly good for us because we have like the, the big heavy hitters um, that can take over the game. So the more we trade resources, the better for us. And to that end, I'm actually going to just go ahead and block. Um, I know I'd be able to attack for like four next turn. But I, I don't think that that is necessarily too valuable. I think we're going to win the later game and keeping our our life total high. You know, like we got these angels. These angels will certainly beat two twos, you know. But if I don't make the trade, it's it's possible they find like a an Adelise that like gets to start pumping up their wizard and everything. So I guess just traded for two of their cards. Happy with that. Finally. I think we're going to be starting with a win here. Yeah, I don't know what the, the, the green's for. We haven't seen anything for the green yet. Could be another merfolk. But it's kind of cool. They're playing merfolk wizards. It's pretty cool. They play Walker Academy. And also Blue Boy. The games are going really well today. Yeah, like we've gotten a 5 1 and a 5 0 so far. And we're starting with another win 11 1 on the day. Certainly very good. I don't think shuffling your cards around so your opponent doesn't know which one you've drawn affects anything. Like, I don't think... I don't think they just, like, draw to the one spot and stay there, kind of, like... Like, you see them draw a card, but I don't think it, it's actually, like, that card in their hand. I'm not sure, though. I like Captive Audience a whole lot as a card. Um... I think it's just a, a really cool design and everything, and it's a, a neat card, and it's certainly a card I, I really like. Um, you know, it is, it is of course, like, you know, really powerful, too, if you, you play it and, and you're not, you're not, like, behind where you're going to die. Uh, it, it just wins the game. Well, I have a lot of removal spells, so I guess I'll just start using them instead of taking damage. We don't know how many creatures our opponent has. It's possible they have a good amount. It's possible they do not also. You know, they could have a very burn heavy hand. Yeah, you can try to try to figure it out with friends. Uh, you know, like you do the challenge and, and see what happens. Our opponent is just uh, firing off all these spells. It certainly feels like it feels like they have experimental frenzy. They're trying to get cards out of their hand to do that. I'm supposed to play History. I want to play Seraph. 
Uh, J Jack, here it is for the donated deck. Read the description as well. Okay. Beautiful angels. Nice. A blue white angel deck. Conditions you try to activate Senate Guildmage as much as you can. Other than that, have fun. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I like it. If you had two of the same card in hand, one revealed to your opponent and one not, does it matter which one you play? From everything I've heard, no, it does not matter which one you play. Um, yeah, from all I've, from everything I've heard. Alright, we should get game one here. I have not I have not seen anybody break Electro Dominance yet, but that is a card that I want to want to play. Um It doesn't do anything with Banefire. Like you can't cast a Banefire I mean you can cast a Banefire off of Electro Dominance, but your X will be zero. Um But uh I want to make a, a teamer ramp deck with electro dominance. I am that's a deck that's on my agenda of like tons of other decks to also make. Huh, this is 65. Maybe I just don't play duress. I could probably just not play duress. And this is 61. Um One settle. I guess Tithe Taker doesn't do a ton. It's not it's not great against Chain Whirler. All the angels are good. No, you can add Electro for ten and the Bane Fire for ten. No, X the X is just zero. I guess I'm just going to cut a Tithe Taker because of how weak it is against uh, Chain Whirler and everything, but it does leave my curve kind of high that I'm, I'm slightly worried about. Um, but we have a lot of things to kind of catch up with the higher curve, with um, like Settle and all that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, you want your beautiful angels after this one? All right. That's not a card I need to lava coil. We're gonna save coil. Um, Cause even if like this Tithe Taker dies, even if they have like Chain Whirler or something that kills this Tithe Taker, well, that's great for us. Wow. That is just great for us. That Tithe Taker was insane. We just got to trade with a Pyromancer and a Wizard Lightning for our two drop. Wow. I 
I mean, that card better be... That last card in hand... It better be like Experimental Frenzy. <laughs> okay, it is Experimental Frenzy. So, hopefully we can fight through this frenzy. This frenzy. Now that is certainly a card to coil. So the chump block here, go to one. And again, we have this game. Primal Frenzy is good, but not that good. Certainly our, our best matchups for the most part. We want to be playing against aggro decks all the time here with Mardu Angels. Thanks, Foxy. Could you Electro Dominance Thousand Year Storm, then with the Thousand Year Storm resolve before Electro triggering itself? Um, I'm not sure how those cards work together, honestly. Honestly, not. Another Merfolk deck? That's weird. Playing a second Merfolk deck? River Sneak can do a lot of damage. River Sneak certainly is scary. They got some good cards in, in the newest set. Um, they got Benthic Biomancer and Zagana off the top of my head. No land drop for them. That could certainly be a problem. Yeah, I need to find a removal spell for this river sneak. This river sneak's gonna be a problem. Can't can't block it. So we need to draw any of our removal spells or a Lyra Dawnbringer. Either that's those are the draws we need. Either Lyra Dawnbringer. We have three of those. One of our four lava coils. One of our two mortifies. Or our one Vrasis contempt. So that's. Um, Seven, ten. So that's ten spells. I want one of those ten. Kill. Alright, we'll 
get the Seraph Vigilance. Attack on in there. They should certainly be blocking with a branch walker. Or not. I likely have just one more turn anyway, though. I, I needed Like, they could have sleep that kills me. Um, well, no, they, they don't. They won't have sleep. But yeah, so I, one more turn, I need to draw one of those ten cards. I don't think anything else saves us. Yeah, no, it's got to be one of those ten cards. Actually, Lava Coil doesn't work anymore now with the with that, uh, actually. So now we're down to six cards. <laughs> so I need to... Uh, so yeah, we only have six cards that are outs here. And with the second Merfolk, we're dead. So actually, no outs. Yep, now just dead with the Mistbook Herald. With that. Deeper Delete, real good. Alright, so let's get Settles. Clarions. Um... Vanguard, of course, is out. Do I want... Hmm. kind of want to just do that. I don't think I want Duress. I don't think I need Duress. Oh. I guess Angel of Grace would have been an out, like, the previous turn. Also, if they didn't... If they weren't able to pump it up so much. Now, Contempt's not bad. Like, think of that last game. If we had Contempt, we would have won. <laughs> Sometimes you just... You gotta kill stuff. I don't want to take out... All my removal, or any of my removal, basically. <laughs> um, it's not necessarily worse than other removal if their creature gets big. And, you know, the gain, the life gain could be really important. I mean, I think it's... I think I'm keeping in all the removal. Like, I'm not I'm not going to take out any of the removal. It's, it's which one of these other cards do I want to take out. Um... And I think it may be a Seraph of the Scales here. They don't kill our things too much. I think I'm going to take out a Seraph. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Contempt may be worse than other removal against cheap things, but I think all the removal is necessary. Alright, we just need to draw lands and we're good. We got Clarion, and then we got a couple angels to go with Dawnbringer. So all we need is some lands now. That's a start. It's really not a lot. It's 26 lands is not a lot with the top end 5, because it's like the top end is 5, but we need to hit the five land drops and we don't this deck doesn't have yeah, like we don't have card draw to be able to draw more cards and and uh and everything so like we just we need to like to be able to get towards five lands every game uh the 26 lands is not too much We'll get that three for one. <laughs> Angels versus Chicken of the Sea. Uh, River Sneak. White mana. Alright, not white mana. Yeah, we even I even sideboarded out a seraph. We keep on drawing the other ones. So we know we're not drawing any more seraphs, so we're we're good to go there. We know we know that's the last of them. Uh white white mana is like our our 
the color of mana that we have the most of. I think we have uh, 18 white sources, I believe. Small white mana. Killing me. I mean, we're still doing fine. Like, we're gonna have lethal next turn. Like, we're winning this race right now. So like they're gonna they're gonna need something. Stop calling the sleep. It kills me. It's it's never a good time for sleep. All right. Yep. Game three. Hmm. Leaning towards mulliganing this. I do like having removal spells, you know, like removal spells are awesome. We're on the draw with 26 lands. I'll keep, I'm gonna keep this. We're on the draw with 26 lands. Let's just draw draw some shock lands. We need to draw some lands. There we go. Oh, Dragon Skull Summit's gonna come into play. Tapped. Dang it, I should I need to play Dragon Skull Summit. I don't know why I thought I had black white there. Whenever I quickly glance down at my lands. Yeah, what could go wrong? Get out of here, River Sneak. Get the heck out of here. Dun 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 dun. All right, we're looking good. <laughs> Lava coil also for the yeah, for like these things. They have they have like the two lords that uh want to coil as well. Dun, 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 dun. Ow. I don't want Contempt to get countered, and I'm using Contempt because it just costs more mana, like, because I can Tithe Taker or plus Mortify uh, next turn, so I'll just use Contempt over Mortify uh, to be able to use the mana better. Hey, good evening, Peak. Bleh. So we're taking seven, going to seven? Okay, never mind.
Yeah, I guess they just wanted to make one big silver gill adapt. Oh, I didn't even realize they didn't have two blue. I didn't really realize that before. You know, I was, I was scared to play the, the Dawnbringer because I was like, oh man, Merfolk Trickster is going to get me. They didn't have two blue. And then draw the second blue here. Hmm. Just take five. We know they're drawing Miss Cloak Herald next turn. Because if this card's Water Trap Weaver, though, if I take this and that's Water Trap Weaver, I'm dead. So I guess I should just block. Take four, go to five. And get that thing out of here. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'd like to draw any angel. Any angel. Love it. I don't know why they didn't attack with their unblockable Miss Cloak Herald there and put me, you know, that one could have mattered potentially. But now it looks like we are good to go. one looks real good for us. Uh, I did take two earlier by not playing that Dragon Skull Summit earlier. That's true. That two could have maybe got me. Alright, let's just keep on playing aggro decks. We're good against aggro decks. Let's keep on doing that. Ugh. All right, we're four and a half hours into the 12 hour stream today. Hey, what's up track team? 12 hour standard stream today. to change this order up a little bit. I need to get to these I need to get to the donation decks before like the very end of the night. <laughs> Beautiful Angels is a donation deck. That was just that was just donated. Um, that is a blue-white angel deck. And here's, here's the link to the deck. And I have the, I have the order while playing it to activate Senate Guild Mage as much as possible. Oh yeah, Mardu Angels is certainly looking a lot better than what Boros Angels was. I think the black adds a lot to it. No no Jade Light Ranger? We're so lucky. We're so lucky. I keep on drawing this Ad Adanto Vanguard that I wish wasn't in my deck. Well, the only options for the last deck are either Teamer Gates or Naya Value, and I played Naya Value yesterday, so I guess it'll be Naya Value here, because I'm, I'm not sure which one of the, like, I may not be able to get to both those decks, so, um, yeah, 
Yeah, the Azorius donate deck, the person gave me orders. That does sound like an Azorius donate deck, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're still just attacking. We're just trading in a knight for eight damage. Hopefully they don't have removal spell for Resplendent Angel. Maybe we can activate Resplendent Angel and hit him. Well, dang. Now I wasn't playing around finality because I don't think like I don't think we're winning like a, a longer game anyway, here, and uh, yeah, I was playing into finality because I was just wanted to try to end the game quickly. But yep, they had finality. All right, I'll have Angel of Grace su go surprise the Wild Growth Walker. We've had some decent success against control with this deck so far, uh, especially after sideboarding. That's, that's what a lot of our sideboard is built to try to fight control. So I did play around Settle. One card in hand. Hopefully no removal for a resplendent angel. Aurelia, Aurelia. Ooh. Okay. All right, all right. Still in there. Any tasty new brews on the way? Um, so today, yeah, uh, I guess you kind of missed them already. I played a, a new brew of Bant Midrange um, that I really liked earlier. And then I played like my version of uh, um, of uh, Rakdos Burn that also went very well. Our opponent's still playing around Settle, which is real good for us. That was really good for us. No, they wouldn't necessarily win if they if they just attack with Carnage Tyrant. I can go to I can go to ten life. Um, but they didn't do that, so I guess I just activate again, go to thirteen, get another angel. Yeah, that attack was not was not too good. I think I don't think they. Respect to the Resplendent Angel attack. Or the Resplendent Angel. Yeah, they need to just attack out there. Alright, we're still good though. As long as that card in their hands a blink. Which I, I believe it is, because they didn't do anything last turn.
Okay, that's 12. We're at 13. And we can just hit back for 8 in the air. They had kind of a tough attack, but they needed to just attack out. They were scared to settle. But they needed to attack out. Alright, let's get these settles in and Immortal Suns. Um, and Vanguard coming on out. Again, like normal against these creature decks. Um, Immortal Sun stops Vivian, which is huge. Uh, I, think I, I think I may want Spyglass also for Vivian, honestly. Vivian is just so, so good against me. If I bring in Spyglass, what am I cutting? I don't really see anything to cut. Shalai isn't as strong as if you can't activate it. I don't think I don't think there's like I don't think Shalai is really too necessary. Cut a land. I don't think I want to cut a land when I'm bringing in six mana cards. Yeah, our opponent punted by killing Aurelia. Yeah, I was very glad they killed Aure they killed Aurelia, not Resplendent Angel. Nah, need Lyra. Um, no, our curve is certainly high. That's why I have 26 lands. History, I feel, is important. I feel like it's Aurelia that we cut. If we bring the Spyglass in, we're cutting Aurelia. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's either that or Angel of Grace. It's either Angel of Grace or Aurelia. Yuck. Xenovoid, thanks for the bits. Saying, I love angel decks. I managed to open two Lyras and pa from packs in paper. One of them foil. I just wish I had more angels I could use for a good deck. Hey, that's awesome, though. Way to go. Those are good opens. Thanks for the cheer. What's the jankiest deck I've ever made? Oh, I have certainly made plenty of very janky decks. Yeah, I don't I don't even know. Um Yeah, I've made so many janky decks. Rude. Get out of here, elf. So they have they have three unknown cards. Do they have no mana? No mana? Can't keep that car and you don't have any lands. Ha. So, Tithestaker trades with the 3-2 Merfolk Branchwalker, but Resplendent Angel can block either of these. Oh no, I wish I would have saved it. Oh, uh, I wish I would have saved the Lava Coil now. Uh, Midnight Reaper just punishing me so hard. Uh, 
All right, we'll take that. All right, we have to have them not draw land and us draw land. Both. Karn is just a, a really great value card, and you can play it earlier with the help of Llanowar Elf. No, I'm not blocking. Come on, land. For us, not for you. Oh, man, that's a tilt. They keep drawing three drops. They're supposed to be drawing, yeah, draw really expensive cards. Oh, no. Alright, we got one hit in at least. Man, they drew drew pretty good there with uh you know not having the lands with the branch walker with the next turn next two turns with the three mana being Midnight Reaper or Jade Light Ranger. They're just like the best. Do I let them start drawing now? I guess so. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's up, Purple Print? Or is it Lee the Panther that said hi? Sorry. Hey, Lee. Can't play both of those. So I can only play one thing, so I'm just gonna flash in Angel of Grace. Flash in Angel of Grace, and then untap Dawnbringer it. We'll see if they play around subtle this time. Alright, so we're going to one. Go to one either way. I don't need to play Angel of Grace right away. I don't need to block. I don't want them to have. I didn't want them to have a. Um. A Chupacabra. And there we go. There's seven. Five for Angel of Grace, one for Lyra, and one for Immortal Sun. And there we go. 4 0. Fourteen and one on the day. That was perfect. All right. Ooh. We got final boss time. Sorry, Billy Corgan. We got the final boss. Really like our opening hand here. Yeah, Final Fantasy Seven. Do you think Shalai might be a cyborg card for removal heavy decks? No. You just want to play card advantage. Shalai would just die to the removal stuff. You just you want card advantage against removal heavy decks. Shalai doesn't produce card advantage. Mm -hmm. So 
this mono blue aggro? Hey, way to go, Intellibeam. You got Mythic? Yep, looks like Drake's. Now, like with the Discovery, yeah. Looking like Drake's. So if I want to keep Mortify up... Oh, no lands? Alright, well, that's a that's a good draw. Finally, we drew a Daunta Vanguard when we wanted to. Hey, and there's our 8th sub of the day. Triggering. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for resubbing for the second month in a row. Thanks, Call Me One. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Yeah, Kalua King. Day's going great. We are get going towards five hours in the 12 hour stream. A lot of decks still on the docket. Not sure if we're going to get to all of these. We may not be able to get to Nye Value because of a new donation deck. I don't know if you can de-rank from Mythic. Maybe somebody in chat knows. I don't know. Oh, and I guess the answer is no. I think we're going to get this game. It would be pretty hard to imagine us not winning this game. Yeah, Shalai's not better than the other four drops since you can't activate it. Seraph of the Scales is better than Shalai. Okay, interesting turn here. Interesting turn. I'm not... Oh, wait. I need to do Aurelia. Cause, uh, oh, dang it. I need to do Aurelia. Never mind. I can't do all of them. Oh, well. I'll just do it like this. So I don't want to play Lyra because I, I expect them to block and then, like, I was expecting them to block and then dive down. I should have just done Aurelia so I could have had Aurelia and Vanguard. Oh, whoa, I wanted to pay life there. Okay, I'm just messing this up. I am just messing this up now. Whenever I said I couldn't imagine our opponent winning this game, now I can imagine it. For if I keep playing this bad. That was, that was the worst time, that was the worst turn, sorry, overall turn I've had in a very long time. Oh yeah, and they couldn't even dive, dive down because of Tithe Taker. So yeah, I just messed everything up. Okay, well, we'll just go win. Yeah. It was a very poorly played turn in many ways, but we were so far ahead, it didn't matter. Yes, yeah, so they couldn't even dive down. We're not 5-0 yet. That was just game one. Okay. Hmm. My board isn't great against Drake's. My board is not very good against Drake's. Yeah, if you want to play this deck, you need Seraph. Seraph. You need Seraph of the Scales in this, this deck. Seraph of the Scales is, is really good. Um, Duress is, is probably like the best card here. I could see Settle getting my opponent also. 
I could see that happening. But I'm not even sure if I want to change anything. Honestly. Adanta Vanguard on the draw, maybe that's... Like, the only way I have to get a to get a Dante Vanguard through Drake's is Aurelia. The, like, the two Aurelias. Otherwise, they get checked pretty quickly. So, especially on the draw, that's that's probably pretty bad for me. So, what if we just play Duress instead of Vanguard? Well, if we have, like, this one settle to get my opponent. Yeah, let's have the one settle just to get him. And we'll play three Duress. I think on the play, I may just go back to the Dante Vanguards if we lose this game and, and we're on the play. Because um, it, you know, basically gets to get down a little earlier. Yeah, you gotta have that, gotta have that, that fun of to be able to beat the final boss. It does help them stack up instants in their graveyard, but it also, the bit, the main thing that I'm doing with Duress is I want to cast it uh, to take a dive down so they cannot protect their drake. Like I have like a removal spell and I cast duress, take the dive down, kill the drake kind of thing. Um, all right, if we get to go, you know, I, I really like history into history. And then we got a bunch of angels, so. We'll see if we get to draw that, uh, draw that land here. Yeah, it's a little sketchy of a keep, but again, we're a 26 land deck and we're on the draw. So, and we have a whole lot of white sources. Um, well, I think 18 total white sources, if I remember right. Yeah, 18 white sources. Coil, chart, discovery, row. Should probably just take the Rao. I'm certainly not taking Coil. So it's it's between the other three. And Discovery and Chart are kind of the same thing. You think I should take Chart? I'm gonna take the Rao. Yeah, Rao will be hard for us to deal with. And Rao will like come down, kill an angel right away. And also be, like, annoying to deal with. Huh. They opted... Oh, they still get to Discovery because of black, that black mana source. Thanks, Penumbra. Yeah, we have crossed over the 1,000 YouTube sub barrier. Uh, speaking of that... Oh, Bant Midrange is uploaded from earlier, so now I should get the Rakdos Burn going. Tilt. Not white mana. Another tilt. Do I shock and pass? And just be like, hey, I have Angel of Grace, by the way. Yeah. Could just play Dawnbringer. Actually, I don't hate that. I'm just gonna play Dawnbringer. So I'm not sure if I really want to trade. Angel for their Drake anyway, kind of thing. All right, so they have dive down. That's why they're making that attack, because they have a dive down. That's unfortunate. They have another Drake. All 
All right, so I can Angel of Grace here. I can just, they attack for a bunch. I just take it all, Angel of Grace. I don't think that's a good bluff on a dive down. I feel like that's not a very good bluff if they, if they're just bluffing it. But yeah, they certainly could be. I'm not not giving that much risk. I don't know. It's like I definitely think one of these two cards is dive down, dive down coil, and then whatever card they just drew for turn. Why do they pray in the godless shrine? It's a good question. So I can double block, or I can just not block. I like not blocking. That's what Angel Grace is good at. So no more Drakes, opponent. Let me let me swing back for 11. Come on, let me swing back for 11. Let me play Resplendent Angel, hit you for 11. Yeah, dead to lightning strike if they un untap and had lightning strike. True. Angel of Grace was really nice here. Yeah, I'm getting the token with Resplendent Angel. As long as Resplendent Angel survives till the end step. Resplendent doesn't need to be on the battlefield when you're attacking. It checks at end step. At the beginning of the end step. If you gain 5 life. So now they coil Resplendent Angel. <laughs> Gas up the car. We are 5-0, and oh, baby. Man, Angel of Grace for the win there. Yeah, we got to just basically never attack in or, like, never do combat with them with that dive down. That was really nice for us. I don't think they have in speed removal. You think they like block one, dive down it. Like you know, I, th I think I think ten's coming through here. If I move into for my Golgari deck in general, uh, probably blue. It's either blue or white. Yep, they had the dive down the whole time. There we go. And we ended up 31 to negative 3. Yeah, I've been really, really happy with this Mardu Angels deck. All right, another 5-0. Uh, we got two, um, two rares I guess I already had on the account. Um... So there we go. <laughs> well, I, I did I, I did play one one turn really bad there that other game, but you know we were so far ahead it didn't matter. So, all right, yeah, we we went five one yesterday with Marty Angels five zero today. Uh, we even beat a couple Esper decks yesterday. Um, yeah, this deck's feeling pretty good. I, I like 
I like where you're at, like against the aggro decks, uh, especially with having Deafening Clarion in there, um, and all the angels and everything. That's certainly good. And then uh, against control, we may still be a little short against control, but duress, you know, is quite good. And then you know you have Bloodfast, Theater, Spyglass, and Immortal Sun to help you out. Yeah, it's been feeling pretty good. So, all right. If you're watching this over on YouTube. Uh, oh, question. What do you think is better, Bant Midrange or Naya Value? I don't know. That's close. I like them both a whole lot. Uh, I think Bant Midrange has a whole lot of potential because, you know, I just started playing it. It's not really tuned that, that well yet. Um, but Naya Value I like against basically everything in the format, except for I'd, maybe Bant Midrange goes over the top of Naya Value, though. Um, Naya Value may not be good in the against me at mid-range but yeah there we go uh thanks for watching this if you're watching on youtube hit that subscri subscribe button over there and i'll see you for the n next video